everybody, welcome to episode 12 of the Power Moose Podcast. It is me, Colin, on a lovely Sunday afternoon with Duncan. How are you? Okay. How's your, how's your week? Um, adjusting to being paid bi-weekly is not going well. You and me both. <laughs> it's like we have to be responsible, responsible with our now. money. Yeah. I'm def- definitely feeling that too. Mm. And then it turns out I'm being audited. So that's fun. You know what? I was going to ask you about that because I kind of already forgot about it. But, you know, being audited, not exactly podcast material. No. Some legalities with that. Whoops. (laughs) No, you can say it. I don't think that matters. Okay. Yeah. No, not a lot going on. I painted more little men and then found out that the 8th edition rules for Warhammer 40k are coming out and was sitting there going like well time to see if Black Templar are even playable I don't know what that means I assume it's a Warhammer thing it's it's a, it's a Warhammer army for the, ga- the 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 board game yeah for the board game okay. did you want me to go into detail nope. as to what the Black Templar are about go for it I was going to say, I thought you were going to say how they play, and I was like, it's going to go over my damn head. Basically think Crusades. So they run in... The English? Well, no, they run in there with... They, instead of, you know, going in there with guns and big kind of long-range artillery, they're just, they say... No, we're going to go in there with swords and little bolt pistols, and we're just going to cut them up. Sounds wildly ineffective. It sounds wildly ineffective, but that's the thing I like about them. They're stubborn assholes who just keep charging forward no matter how many of their battle brothers fall. And then once they get into close combat, they just slice you up with chain swords. Now, as, as far as I know, you're not much of a an RTS fella. No. Have you seen that? What, the Dawn of Dawn War 3? Dawn of War 3? Yeah. Uh... I was listening to people talk about it, and, like, they they sold the idea of the, what is it, orcs in yep. that game? Yeah. Those sound pretty cool. Orcs are pretty cool, yeah. They're just, like, every couple millennia, they're just like, get all the boys together. Well, I just like the mechanic in the game where you basically throw on a Mad Max, Mad Max esque like fire rock concert, yeah, uh, and then makes the enemy team go like, "Oh shit, they're coming!" But you could just fake them out and just have the concert and not do anything. Really? So that you're just like, "Oh shit, they're coming!" But then you didn't move. So I was like, "That's that's a neat mechanic. I like that. I'll never touch it because I don't know anything about the universe, uh, and I don't care for RTSs." Yeah. And I and I, I'm guessing your love for that IP does not overcome your hate for RTSs. No, um, I actually enjoyed the Dawn of War series. Um, I don't think my current computer can play it because I mean it struggles to play a lot of games. You just bought that. Yeah, and it's a piece of trash. <laughs> PSA right here. Don't buy anything from Best Buy that's a quote-unquote gaming computer. That's why I bought mine seven seven years ago and it still runs. Well, Best Buy and Cyber Power, I think it is. It's just a joke. No, I agree. It's it's a joke for people who don't know what what to buy for PC. I mean... (laughs) I assume you're like me, which you don't really understand computer specs. So when someone's I, telling you these things, you go, that sounds good. A little bit. I do have some sort of knowledge. Cause I, I but not, sh- an, yeah. not enough to put a computer together. And to put a computer together would have cost me a lot of money, and I couldn't afford it. And this, it, this one was cheap during Black Friday... So I was just, or Cyber Monday, I think, and I just picked it up, and yeah, 
it's its price for a reason and i'm calling out cyber power right now your computers are shit and you should feel bad but it, it looks strong it looks neat but that thing is literally a paperweight to everyone who like, can't see it cuz i'm not going to it's a, a bright it. dumb orange looking tower it, it, i mean it's you know it's dumb that it's the gamer product it's yeah. got like the edgy design and it looks cool but but let, let's face it i have to dial like Heroes of the Storm. Mm -hmm. I have to drop that to low to be even able to get 30 frames per second on it. That sounds great. Oh, yeah, it sounds real great. Cyber Power Best Buy. You're terrible people for buying, for selling those products to people who don't know computers. You are literally Satan. How was your week? It's good. It's busy. It's a busy week. Doing, doing a lot of things. Watching a lot of things. Reading a bunch of stuff. Uh, but, uh... Oh. I'm sorry. Satan's too... Satan's too powerful for you people. You aren't... Best Buy and Pet Cyber Power aren't Satan. They're like a step below that. They're like the... De- they're like the little... John Constantine's John. left nut. Yeah. I'm sorry I interrupted. <laughs> I'm very pissed off at both Cyber Power and Best Buy. Uh, I'm not mad at any company currently that I know of. But no, I played played some new games. Uh, I bought... I'm having a problem where I keep buying more and more games and I'm not touching them. Maybe we should slow down. Maybe you should slow down. Um... So, a peek behind the curtain, because this will go up before any of the videos do. Uh, I played more Flint Hook. That game's just really fun. Yeah. And when you know how to play it, it can look cool. Okay. Um, it's still... And I talk about it in the stream, but it's still not an Isaac replacement, that game. It, and they're different enough that I don't really consider them competing with each other, but... For my rogue-like game, I'm still going to play Isaac. Um... But I checked out Games of Glory? Games for Glory? I think it's Games of Glory. So it's a new MOBA. Uh, honestly, character design's pretty solid. I like okay. a lot of them. Um, my beef... There's one character who's arguably the worst designed character in video game history. It's just... Guy in orange prison jumper. And you're like, oh wow. It's really cool. Isn't that the same as kind of the guy from Borderlands 2, the DLC? The uh, guy who went on about the meat bicycle? No, he was just... Oh, you, I, I don't remember his name, but that's just one of the psychos yeah. from the game. No, w- like, that's way better designed than this guy. Okay. Um, but the other characters are, like, actually pretty cool. I like quite a few of them. Um, it's, it's a MOBA. It's a sports-themed MOBA. So, like, Saturday night, night combat? Kind of, that? yeah. Uh, my biggest issue with it, and it took me... I played two or three matches on stream, and then I played again this morning to nail down my opinion. It's a, it's a fine game, but every character kind of plays identically. Okay. Minus their skills. So their skills are different, but everyone's basic attacks are identical. Because every everyone can buy one ranged weapon mm-hmm. and one melee weapon. Okay. And every character has the access to the exact same ranged weapons and the exact same melee weapons. So, in that regard, it's kind of... It's a good, like, baby step way to play. Because that way everyone... Their basic second-to-second gameplay, everyone's the same. So, you know, say someone took the character you want... You won't have that much trouble getting into someone else because they still they use the same guns. Yeah. Um, but I thought that was kind of shitty. Cause like I used to play League back in the day, and it's not hard to give everyone their own unique mm. way of attacking on top of their skills. I was specifically told never to play League. Really? You saw what you know what I get like when we play Overwatch. That's true. I mean, I haven't played it for years now, but I, like, I did like it. 
almost the entire reason why I stopped was it's just on PC, and my PC's not amazing. Yeah. So. Stopped. Um, did I check out anything else? No. Are we going to talk about the movie now, or... We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Okay. Um, but yeah. Bought a whole bunch of games, and, and, and you know, sneak peek to what's to come on the channel, I guess, because I'm going to check out all of these, probably, at some point, is I bought Snake Pass, still haven't touched it. Dun Duncan did. He liked it. For a it. few seconds. And then I told him to stop. Called me an oaf. <laughs> No. There's a good chance I just stream that by myself now, so you can keep playing it. I don't care. Well, I haven't touched it since then. Uh, the the prey demo's out. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a go. Downloaded that. I bought What Remains of Edith Finch. I meant to sit and play that. Didn't. But th those were all those were all coming. Prey is that? Wasn't. It's a it's a reboot. It's a reboot. Okay. But it's... I I don't know anything about the original, so I don't because know because the original you played is like. Played as some, like, Native American guy, I yeah. think. Uh, and that's really all I remember. And then there was one part where you're fighting through a bar and uh, Barracuda by Hearts playing. I think you and I know the exact same amount about the game, which is we went to college with someone who really liked it. Yeah. So all we know is them talking about it. Who is it? It's Josie. Oh, okay. Josie liked it. Huh. Um... But yeah, and then and then a movie. And it's it's really funny because since having this podcast, we, we've talked about how you don't go see movies. And I think since starting the podcast, I think it's been like what 14, 15 weeks because we skipped a, a few weeks here and yeah. there. Uh, you have seen more movies since starting this podcast, like like per month ratio than, than probably your entire life. Not true. There was a time when I was working at a welding shop. Where, when the uh, phase one of Marvel was beginning, where it was a movie, sev like two or three movies every month. And you're going to all of them? I was going to all of them. I went to go see G.I. Joe the movie, the first one. Okay, I sh I'll put it this way then. You have seen more movies in the last few months per month than the amount of time I've known you. Yeah. Starting... At the studio, I think I can count on my, up until when we started the uh, podcast, I can count on one hand how many movies I've seen. And since starting the podcast, you're already at like three or four. Yeah. Which I think almost doubles what I've seen <laughs> since before that. So yeah, we saw the, the new anime hit, uh, Your Name, and uh, we won't get too spoilery but i did want to talk about it because duncan and i both saw it yep uh and i i think we have different opinions on it okay what what what'd you think duncan i thought it was a good mu movie G give me give me a score out of 10 7 or 8 out of 10 all right maybe we're not so different after all because it's, it's I, I think solid seven i don't go yeah. maybe eight well, I, i'm a seven the problem sure. is i'll still see a seven yeah, well, no, I would too. Um, I'd give, like, World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Or Warcraft, I guess. Yeah. I'd give that a six or a seven. I guess four for me. Okay. That's pretty unwatchable. Like, I'm just having non-flashbacks <laughs> now. So, so seven or eight, it's a, it's seven a good. Seven or eight, yeah. It's not perfect. Um, it's no usual suspects. I don't know what that is. You don't know what Usual Suspect is. Is it anime? No. Okay, then I'm more that I'm more surprised that I don't Kevin know what Spacey? it is. Kevin Spacey? I don't think I've seen a Kevin Spacey movie in my I life. I think it's Kevin Spacey. Shit. But yet you you haven't Nope. Holy shit. I'm 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 a little surprised cuz of the two of us I am the movie guy. Yeah. And no, I I, I I literally have no idea what we're talking about. I love that movie. <laughs> but Kaiser Soze? No, no idea. Oh. Yeah, no. Um, very pretty. Very pretty. E easily yep. its best um, quality. Now, they, that particular studio, 
Did they do... What did they do before that? Summer Wars or... No. Okay. Then that... Okay. Uh, well, to my knowledge, it's not that studio. Maybe okay. it was. Uh, because I just remember coming back from the theater uh, the next day and going up the elevator and one of the people who were sitting in front of us who are were our co-workers, um, one of them said... It's better than his last movie. Oh. It's more concise or something like that. Well, let's uh, I got I got his page up right here. Okay. Let's see, let's see what he did. Um, a bunch of shit I've never heard of. Commercials, video games, manga, illustrations. Um, what we got for movies. Movies. We got uh, the Garden of Words. Children who chase lost voices. Five centimeters per second. In the place. Promised in our early days. I've heard of none of those. I okay. I know place promised in our early days. That one was kind of. It wasn't bad. Again, it was kind of pretty. But I couldn't. I I honestly couldn't tell you what happened. Now, I honestly couldn't tell you what happened in it. Oh yeah, it very very pretty. I thought its weakest point was its story. Which I won't get into, but I thought it was incredibly predictable at almost every turn. I was like, yep, this happens, and then this happens. And the movie tries to foreshadow things, but instead of, you know, doing normal foreshadowing of, like, Here, here's the thing that's gonna come, but, like, yeah. you won't put it together till the thing actually comes, and then on a second view when you go, oh, here's them referencing that earlier in the film of something that happened. They fucking shove it down your throat with this foreshadowing, like, every, maybe, literally every five minutes... So when it actually happened in the movie, I was like, gee, I, I, I didn't see this coming. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, I, I thought it was way too predictable. It's sitting at like a 98 on Rotten Tomatoes. I strongly disagree with that. Hmm. But very funny. I mean, it's one of the few anime movies I'd probably watch again. I don't know. It's, n it's no girl who leapt through time, which I think is a better movie. I haven't seen it for years, so okay. I, actually, I actually don't. You know how true that is. But I liked that movie. It's no red line. Red, li red line's pretty alright. Yeah. The I, I can watch that. Like, it... Red line, to me, is like Space Jam was to the younger me. Yeah, but I I don't know the younger you. I don't know what the don't younger know me, Space Jam meant the, to you. Like, I would come home from school... And watch Space Jam instead of doing homework. To the point where that VHS tape was ruined. So that that was the movie that you watched, like, just constantly, every yeah. time you had the chance? Yeah. Space you know what my Jam. movie was? Take, just take a guess. I'm a few years younger than you. Just take a guess what my constantly watch movie was. And there's two. If you can guess either one, I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, um... My hint is, you'll never get it. I got nothing. Uh, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Okay. And the weird one that I literally, at least once a week, if not multiple times a week, Three Men and a Baby. A movie I couldn't tell you anything about anymore, except that there's Three Men and a Baby, and Tom Selleck's in it. Okay. Love that movie. I don't know why. I think it was just one of the only... I think that's because the only two VHSs I had access to as a kid were Robin Hood Men in Tights and Three Men to Baby. So that's all I watched. <laughs> My parents have shitty taste in movies, apparently. Yeah. So, uh, had a, had a nice, just, oh, that feels good moment. We, we've talked about it. I don't care much for... Dickish people. I think that's pretty universal. Uh huh. And we don't like people who are kind of, you know, assholes. Yeah, nose up in the air. But this, no, I didn't even know if this guy was an asshole. He was just kind of acting. Hey, look at how cool I am. He was a skateboarder. And I really should not have these thoughts in my mid twenties. Yeah. Uh, Cause this kid was probably a kid. Probably sixteen. Yeah, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. And uh, I was walking, and uh, he was clearly trying to impress some people, you know. But, it, nah, I don't know a ton about skateboarding, but he's just, 
It's like, look at this sick Ollie. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm impressed. Did he do a sick kickflip? But, so he, so he does what he's doing. He's trying to impress people. And then he passes my field division. And I don't care to keep watching because he's really not that entertaining. But then I just hear that pleasant sound of... <laughs> and I just knew he ate shit. Oh, it felt so good. Oh, made me feel so warm inside. Uh, this kid just bit it. Just ate shit oh. on his way down. That's amazing. That was my yesterday. That was a that was, made the entire day worth it. Saw a kid get hurt. It's, it's fantastic. That's that's usually always nice. Yeah. Equally as random, I was sitting on my balcony today because you know, it's a very nice day. And uh, you know the old Family Guy bit. Where Peter just starts filming a plastic bag in the wind. Yeah. Oddly mesmerizing in real life. So, I, I, you know, I mean, Duncan knows. I, I live like 120 feet in the air. On I, the 11th. I, yeah, I live yeah. very high. And on a hill. So, if I'm depending on what side of the building I'm looking at, it's, it's quite high off the ground. And I just see a bag at eye level with me. <laughs> just floating around. I'm like, oh, wow. I like this. It's so majestic. But, yeah, that's enough about my sh- weird weekend. I imagine we have actual uh, topics and news to discuss. Yeah, because I actually did my job for once. Oh, that's good. I, I have more than I thought I did originally. I thought I had nothing, but I, I got a few things. Okay. So, what, what, where, what, where do we want to start? We'll start with you. Okay. Do we want to go with uh, mildly in- in- uh, infuriating or interesting? Let's start interesting, I guess. Or did you forget how to read? <laughs> For a second there. Um, M. Night Shyamalan wants to do a sequel to two of his movies. Uh, Unbreakable and The Split? It's just Split. Split, okay. But the sequel to these two movies will be called Glass? And it's Wait, so this movie will be a sequel to, to both of them? Both of those, yeah. That's kind of cool. And it's uh, rumored to star Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, it's coming out in January, on Jan- uh, apparent, uh, rumored January 18th, 2019. I mean, other than the idea of making one movie a sequel to two movies, which is, like, kind of cool. Uh, in all honesty, I've never seen either of those movies. Neither have I. So I, really... I uh, Like, After the Village, <laughs> I I thought... And after the Village and Avatar, well, I thought he fell off the face Split of the earth. Split is on my watch list. Okay. Because apparently he's slowly been coming around. He, he had a TV series a year or two ago. Um, I totally can't remember the name of it. But apparently it actually got pretty good reviews so he, he's he's coming back okay so i admire that i admire someone who undoubtedly had one of the worst names in hollywood i mean that's the same guy who gave us the village uh avatar after earth like some of the worst movies yeah in this decade were all from him and he's still gone yeah i, I can appreciate that i mean to be fair, after the Avatar, I just thought... I didn't even know he did After Earth. Well, he sure did. Huh. I didn't see that either. Neither did I. I actually... Yeah, I don't... I don't know what the last movie of his I saw. I feel like I've seen something since The Village. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I totally have, because I saw Avatar, but... Yeah. I My la- my only thing I've, I think I've ever seen of that M. White Sean I done, did... Done. Would have been uh, Sixth Sense. Sure. I don't know the did, one did where the kids. Sixth Sense. The one where the kids like I can see dead people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sixth Sense. Yep. So what, what's the uh, mildly infuriating? Well. Uh, mildly infuriating. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Atlas says sorry about streaming restraints. Mm-hmm. Doesn't remove the streaming restraints. 
You're still not allowed to stream past a certain point. 7-7. Seven, seven. No. This time it's November 9th. Okay, so they pushed it a little farther. They pushed it a little, yeah. Which is, according to some people, more than 100 hours into a, into the game. I don't believe that. Because I imagine you can beat the game in less than 100 hours. If you're not doing everything. It, But what I'm trying to say is... It's a little fur. It's well into the game instead of where it was before. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a dick move. It's like, hey, we're sorry we did this. Well, like their idea was, their heart was in the right place, and I get it. But the game's already been spoiled. Yeah, like it hasn't been spoiled for me. But I've seen other people on Twitter, because there's guys who are, they aren't streaming it, but they've somehow got around it of just using the right amount of footage and, like, putting music over it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, the final boss and everything's already out. And they're uploading it in the thumbnail, so, like, even without watching the videos. It's yeah. already been spoiled for people. And the game's been out since September in Japan. Yeah. So. Um. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's just... No, I... I, I think it's Japanese companies just not embracing... Yeah. The, like, the way of what how things are, are right now. See, from a personal per perspective, I, I see it both ways. And it's only because... I've never played a Persona game. Mm -hmm. But I keep being told how good they are. And 5 looks good. So I want to touch it. But. I just haven't got around to it yet. Yeah. But well, when my favorite Let's Players. Were doing Persona 5. Because they were able to get a copy a few days earlier. So they had an episode or two of before the ban. Was talked about. I was like. Oh well. Maybe I'll just watch this instead. Yes. Yeah. You know. Saves, saves money. Yep. Yeah. But because of the ban, I'm glad that now I will get to just play it for myself eventually. Hmm. But yeah, it, it is dumb. Like, if people want to stream your game, like, just fucking let them. It's pretty much free advertising. Yeah. I mean... And I get it that if, like you said, oh, I'm just going to watch this person play it and then not buy the game and the traditional Japanese developers are like, well, then that's a sale we lost. Come, But then you've got, like, 20 other people who are like, oh, man, this is the game I wanted to buy. Well, my, I'm going to watch for a little bit, get super excited because you you seem to be having fun, and then go buy it. I, I don't get to have this experience often, but when it happens, it is my favorite, and Persona definitely, there's a good chance this would have fallen into this one, which is if I can play a game alongside my favorite Let's Play. Yeah. Which is, I'll sit down for an hour or two, and then I'll watch an episode or two of them. And making sure they always stay behind where I've played to, so I, never, so I don't get spoiled. But then I get to see shit I missed. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, maybe I go back and get it yeah. in my file or something. I think that's super cool to do, but can't. Because... Yeah, I, I don't know. There's tons of games that you can... Well, I mean, you can stream every game. And uh, I'm very much, you know, a guy who watches Let's Plays. I'm very much in the video game media market, and I very rarely get shit spoiled. Mm. Like, so I, I don't know what they're so worried about. Now, do we want to do absolutely infuriating? Well, if that's the the only thing left, you know. Oh, no, I have a bunch of other stories. Oh, okay, well, yeah, um, I guess we'll move up that list. New series. Mm -hmm. um, Samurai Jack's over? No. Okay, I well... So. Um, Maybe it is. I know an episode aired last night, but... Okay, I'm well, after it. whatever season this is, mm -hmm. they want to try and do a spin-off mm -hmm. called uh, Little Jack. Now, are you a fan of Samurai Jack? I was back before the reboot. Or not the reboot, but the continuation. Um, and it's gonna focus on 
Jack mm-hmm. as a child. I gather. From the creators of Teen Titan Go. I like that show. See, this isn't infuriating to me at all. I like Teen Titans Go and I don't like Samurai Jack. I know that's a faux pas to say, but it, it's it's not that I... I'm sure I would like the show. I just never watched it and I just never cared. I just never cared to watch it. I... I know the episode about his shoes, and that's, that's literally yeah. my entire knowledge okay. about that show. Okay. I'm, I'm just... Cartoon Network needs to stop. I like Teen Titans Go. Cartoon Network needs to stop. There's an episode where Beach Boy teaches... What, what's going to happen Boy. when they want to reboot Johnny Bravo? That won't happen. You don't think they, they no. reboot Johnny Bravo? No. Put it on Adult Swim? No. I, I feel very confident that show stays dead. I mean, if anything... Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab? That might... That might I don't know. Made by the Teen Titans Go creators? I don't know. Or maybe they go a, a more mature route. I don't know. But that's not always a bad thing. Like, look, w- when the concept art for Scooby Apocalypse first came out, I made fun of it. But I'm a big fan of the... I mean, I still haven't watched it all, but the newest season of the cartoon, uh, What's Cool Scooby-Doo or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, look, it has, like, family guy art. I think that's really... I think it's funny. And I'm reading Scooby Apocalypse, which is, like, a so much you... more mature story. And, like, hey, sometimes... Sometimes it works. Sometimes mixing up the formula works. So, I don't know. Maybe it'd be alright. I just don't care. Okay. I just... I don't... I don't think Cartoon Network realizes when it has a good thing. And then it's like, well, we gotta push toys. And everything has to have a toy. Or some sort of merchandise that they can I mean, that's not just them. I I don't know if you know who pays our paychecks, but it's a toy company. Yes. And that's infuriating. (laughs) But, I mean, shows like uh, Symbiotic Titan. What? It was another show. A Teen Titans Go spinoff? No. It was basically a show about these kid, these aliens come down to Earth to hide from a coup d'état attempt from their from the advisor, and they come down to Earth and they become the defenders of Earth, and they have a kind of symbiotic titan that, when they all kind of sync up, they create this giant mecha thing and they fight giant mutos. It got one season and then was cancelled because they didn't know how to market toys of the one female main character and then they released then they so they scrapped it and replaced it with Clarence or Uncle Grandpa or something. These are see, when when you give me a, a name of a cartoon that I've literally never heard of, I assume it's old. But, like, Uncle Grandpa's not that old. Okay, well, I think it was Clarence. Or so- something with, like, this kid. I don't know what the hell Clarence is. I don't know either. Maybe <sighs> it's We Three Bear. I don't... The thing is... Bear Bears? They had something good and interesting. And a little more mature than what they normally ran with. And they replaced it with utter inane garbage... Because they didn't think they could sell the toys of the fem like they didn't think anyone would buy the toys of the fem- the one female character, the one female lead, and it's just like, Cartoon Network, get your heads out of your asses. Um, uh, I don't know. I I mean it it sucks when shit like that happens, but I mean that that's been going on forever. Yeah. Um. And it happens to, to it happens to shows we don't like all the time, but we you know we take it but, as like yeah, a we, personal we attack when it's when a it's show. Our we show. Like, yeah, I mean, hell, I 
I still know people, myself included, that are upset that Clone High doesn't have more episodes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we own that fucking show. I could yell at our boss. Why are we not making more Clone High episodes? I have no idea. What? <laughs> yeah, did you not know we own that show? <laughs> Holy shit. Why are we not making more? No, Clone wait. High? I think I'm totally wrong. We are? Wait. I don't think we own Clone High. No, because that was... We own the... Undergrads. Which I also liked, but Clone High was better. We can move on. I used to, I used to do a mad cow impression. No. We can move on now. Cow. Jesus. He was the, like, super gay guy who was not he, gay. He, he wasn't, though. He Well, he was, like, he he was the stereotypical, flint, lispy gay guy, but uh, nailed every woman on that show. Yeah. Uh, now, I, 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 got, I got a couple things here. Okay. Want to do uh, video game news? Movie news? Or, uh... Me complaining? <laughs> I think I'm going to have more fun with you complaining, so let's go well, I mean, we're going to cover all of them. Yeah. Uh, but, so, one, one of the things I did this week... Checked out a new show. Okay. Bill Nye Saves the World. Oh, no. Now... It is a little before my time. Yeah. So I didn't really watch Bill Nye as a kid. Yeah. I didn't really watch it until I was in high school, and at that point I was much too old for that show. Never too old for Bill Nye. It's for children. Never too old for Bill Nye. Um, but it's on Netflix, and it, uh... I have never seen a show have a bigger identity crisis than watching that fucking show. It is... I've seen four episodes. Mm -hmm. Episode one was pretty terrible. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. This is about climate change. Yeah. And it was pretty bad. Episode two was about quote unquote quack science. It was really good. Uh, episode three was about AI. It was okay. Episode four? No. Maybe I watched five episodes. Because there was a GMO episode in there somewhere. Okay. So but anyway, far, so the most far... recent episode. Their episode about uh, transpermia, on how life started on Earth. Yeah. Arguably completely unwatchable at times. Okay. As it. Okay, so this show, from if you just watch the first episode, which, like, if you want to check out a show, you check out the first episode. You go, okay, this is for people who watched Bill Nye the Science Guy as a kid. Yeah. Because it's Bill Nye being Bill Nye. Yeah. And he's specifically talking about voting. So you have to be an adult. Mm hmm But he makes jokes that are for children. Mm hmm Makes funny voices and faces like it's for children. Okay. And in the most recent episode, had someone dress up like a caterpillar, I think, and sing, like, bam, boom, pop. And I, I don't even know what the fuck it was, but me and my roommate both were like... <sighs> She's like, can you shut this off? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Wait, she was saying shut it off? And I agreed. It was terrible. Wow. I, it, well, you, you know what? I mean, your PlayStation's here. I might just put on that clip later. Okay. Just to show you how fucking terrible it was. But all it really... All it really is, is... Is Penn and Teller's bullshit, but worse in every way. Okay. So, because Bill... Because, yes, sure, Penn and Teller aren't scientists, but uh, either is Bill Nye. So it's just a, a research show. But, I mean, to be fair, Penn and Teller and Bill Nye are fairly well-educated... More oh. so than most people calling him out because he's not a scientist. Oh, no. I, I, I agree with that. That's why I'm saying the shows are very similar. It's like, here's yeah. a topic, and I'm going to really fight people on these subjects. So, like, the Global Warming episode really treated like people like children. Like, come on, guys, global warming's real. 
Go, yeah, because guess what? Most of the human race are petulant children. Well, so I I want to tie this into something about this show and other shows like it, which is there are like left leaning shows. Yeah, like this would be left leaning, and there are right leaning shows, and I can't name any because I don't watch them. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure they exist. Yeah, I don't understand why right or left be it politics or science i don't understand why they exist because only people on the left will watch left-leaning shows and only people on the right would watch right-leaning shows so it's really just it's simpsons old man yells at cloud like you're bill nye's telling people the you know global warming is real to a bunch of people who know it's real yeah it's pointless i mean i don't think it's pointless but it, it, it's kind of again it's kind of one of those things where you can't let up you have to keep saying we're in trouble and hope that people will listen because if you stop then it, go figure people are going to be like oh it's fine everything's fine now th- there's like a few circumstances where i get it because i would say well i mean y- you and i did like an actual like political test by an established website or whatever the fuck it was. And we're both left. Ish. Left ish. We're not very left. Hmm. Don't want people walking around in bare feet, fucking public, like a bunch of hippies. But rule with an iron fist. <laughs> um but 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 a friend of mine is uh mostly left. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to certain subjects, are, for better or for worse, fucking stupid. Okay. Now, in, so for that reason, a show like this is kind of good. So if they watch this, and they watch the, the Global Warming episode, and they're like, oh yeah, this is, you know, this is a good show. I like it, okay. Global Warming's bad, okay. And then the next episode was on quack science, and like, magnetic bracelets don't work, and like... You know, home remedy shit. You know, medicine is medicine for a reason. Uh, Hold on, let me get my magnetic bracelet. And th- that's not a even bracelet. But I can turn it into one. You can't. Give me that. I'm, I'm playing no, that. I'm not. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to get into this No, cube? I just want to play with it as a cube. Give me that. I swear to God, if you break this. I won't break it. I will. I almost sacrificed my brother to Satan. I just need something to play with my hands. Otherwise, I'm just going to flip my phone over and over. Okay. Um, so crack science, they're like, so, so this person is into that kind of stuff. So, so they believe for that in... small niche group who is left leaning, but, but also, is uneducated in certain areas, but also think there's, a, there can be uh, crystal pyramids outside. I also just off already the broke this. What? I also already broke this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't mean to. It's so sensitive. God damn it. Two hours. Uh, To anyone who doesn't know, I'm sure you've all seen those little magnetic uh, spheres uh, that most people just kind of keep in a heap. Uh, Duncan had it in a perfect cube, and in playing with it for under a minute, I uh, fucking wrecked it. God fucking damn it. (laughs) You know, you're just making it worse now. Like, no, because what now, I gave you no, was salvageable. No, it wasn't because you have to fucking undo it and then uh, spend two hours trying to get it back together. So uh, is that you, the thing that was absolutely infuriating? I mean, I wouldn't say infuriating, but just call and complaining then. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's because that's such a niche audience of people who go, yeah, crystal pyramids exist. Yeah. And you can dive to them. Free dive. Or, or, like, so the big one for me is people who are against GMOs. Because, yeah. um... Go figure. Everything you're eating is a GMO. Yeah. It's the way of the future. Yeah. Um... And... and uh, Bill Nye Saves the World did it. And so did Penn and Teller's bullshit, in which they go to a farmer's market and ask everyone what GMO is. And no one fucking knows. Yeah. Now, could they have edited out everyone who, uh, 
knew the answer? Yeah, probably, because that's what those shows do. But a uh, long story short, if you have a choice for whatever reason to watch one of these two shows, now even though Penn and Teller's bullshit's a little outdated because it's like 13 years old now, yeah, is a much better show and covers more interesting topics. Okay. So it does cover like GMOs and blah blah yes, blah, I but remember. it also covers like the death penalty, which Bill Nye's not going to touch on that. No. I remember they also did Sex in the Middle Ages. Yeah. I enjoyed that episode. Uh, now, now, I will say, to kind of, like, back away from the complaining about the show, it did teach me one thing that I didn't know. Okay. Uh, which most of this stuff has been like, yes, I know that. I know about transpermia. I know that global warming is real. I know GMOs aren't really that bad. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But, so, you know, we live in a world of AI. Yeah. And uh, I have always said, and along with many others, the one thing that'll be safe for many years is uh, artists. No. Because computers can't make art. No, that's not true at all. Well, I thought it was. I thought we were fine for a long time. Nope. Well, what this show showed me is uh, there is a uh, there is a robot in, uh, I think it was Sweden, uh, that, that made a painting. Yep. You know, totally original painting. And I was like, well, fuck me. I guess I'm out of a job soon. Yep. Congratulations. Nothing sacred. Now, it had to analyze a bunch of paintings first. It couldn't just make a painting. Mm. But still. So, video games. So, video games? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the big one, and, and we talked about this at work the other day. And you're not as excited as I would have assumed, but Marvelous Capcom Infinite. Yeah, I'm not really that excited for it. Well, I mean... So in the last week or two, we've had both that and uh, Injustice, Injustice yeah. 2 being shown off more. And as much as I'm more DC over Marvel, I'm more excited for Marvel versus DC. Because mm-hmm. they showed off how the Infinity Stones are going to work and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Um, like the space one generates a field where your opponent can't move out of this box, but you can go in and out of it. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. Now, I still suck at fighting games. But, I don't know. I'd like to get in. There are no skull girls. Skull girls, okay. We've been over this. I don't like fighting games, so. You don't like fighting games, but you want to get into Marvel vs. Well, Capcom or Injustice. I, well, no, I want to get into them. It's the one genre that I am just. I don't know, I'm so far out of the loop on that I'd mm. like to, you know, at least dip my toe in. Skull girls! <laughs> uh, now, we talked about this the other day uh, at work, but uh, Call of Duty, WW2. Yeah, World War II. Uh, I was listening to more about the game today. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little interested. You're not the super soldier anymore. Well, the fact that they... Um, I totally can't remember what studio is doing it. I think it's Sledgehammer. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically said, we're done. We don't want to make superhero yeah. games anymore. Which is what they have become. Um, so it's... You're playing this kid who... You're 19 years old, storming Normandy, and you're oh, fucking terrified. Jesus. And I was like, alright, that sounds cool. Because like, it, it has been a hot minute. Since we've had a triple A World War Two game, yeah. Um, they talked about like different uh, settings of like, you know, we'll see like parts of the French countryside that are like just beautiful, but then all of a sudden become just a war bombed zone. out craters. Yeah. yeah, and you're mainly playing like this one kid. You're not doing what they call the uh, greatest hits of World War Two. So there's not going to be. Ooh. Well, because that's what they've all been. Yeah. It's, uh, here's Normandy, then go play a mission in Africa, then go play a mission in Italy, and, you know, go do something in Japan. And that's what they've always been. But this is like, no, we are making a story with this kid who's fucking terrified. We're not going to shy away from the fact that, like, there's, they said there's going to be an African, African-American guy on your team. Yeah. And uh, other people on your team uh, don't like him because, you know, racism was still pretty rampant in the 40s. Yep. 
And I was like, okay, I'm interested in that. And the one thing that you told me about it was uh, no health packs. No or, health or, 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 no, sorry, no regenerating health. No regenerating health. But health. also no health packs. Oh, really? You have to find your medic. Oh, Jesus. So it's not just, oh, I gotta go get that health thing over there. No, you have to find your squad's medic, and he has to heal you. That's the only way to get health back. Ooh. Because I know they're doing the same thing with ammo. Like, if you run out of ammo, you have to find the guy. The ki- yeah, you have the to ki- find a guy on your team who can give you ammo. You yeah. can't you can't just pick it up all over the ground. And I was like, you know what? It's, that They're doing the right things for me. Yeah. Now, the problem is... There, magnetic bracelet. You, you did make a bracelet. It, is it comes out in the same month as Battlefront 2... And you are more excited about that. Which, that canon. So, and I'm only going to get... There's no way I'm buying two AAA. large-scale AAA first-person shooters in a month. Yeah. And I feel really bad for Call of Duty because it's doing what I want it to well, do. Well, I mean, it's like, what would you rather have, World War Two or Space Wizards? Space Wizards. Space Wizards. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, because the World War II game's not canon. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give credit to the podcast I took this from, but I was listening to Podcast Beyond. Great podcast. And they were talking about how they have to be real careful with adding the zombie mode in because uh, then that's someone's grandparents you're oh. killing. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. But you can't not have zombies at this point. That's kind of their thing. Jesus. How, 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 you feel, how do you feel about a new PlayStation next year? I would not like that. Well. Colin, don't do this to me. Rumor has it. Don't do this to me, Colin. Now, now, now there's a guy, there's, a, there, there's an analyst. Uh, I'll say his name. Damien Thong. Don't do this to me, Damien. I did not realize his last name was Thong when I wrote this down. Uh huh. Um, Don't do this. Now he, he's not a nobody. He correctly predicted the PS4 Slim. Correctly yeah. predicted the PS4 Pro. Says Sony is releasing the new PlayStation next year. I don't need this. I don't either. But I got into it with someone at work because they were complaining like that's too soon. And now, for you, I get it's different. You, you were you only what a year ago? A year ago, bought a PlayStation Four. I've had one since launch. Okay. And the last few console cycles have been six years. So it's been six years. It's well, if it comes out at the end of next year, it'll be five and a half. Okay. Five, five and a half, and I'm like, you know what? With technology increasing, that's not a huge jump to go from six years to five. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe. Which makes me think there is some truth to this. Okay. Especially with... E3 just around the corner. Well, E3 just around the corner, and also... Scorpio's coming out. Yeah. We And uh, the Digital Foundry reported the specs on it, and it is a uh, undoubtedly stronger than the PS4. It's not even up for debate. It's heads and tails above it. Yeah. So, someone's gotta do something. And now, we are treading into a future that I worried about back when the Scorpio was announced. Which was, the Scorpio was announced so early, because it was announced like a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, essentially Xbox waved the flag. They said, we, we lost. We're not going to make up this ground. Because yeah. right now it is something like 20, I'm ballparking here, 20 to 25 million Xboxes to almost 60 million Playstations. Yeah. It's pretty one-sided. So they said, okay, here here's what we're going to do. Here's our new thing. It's way stronger. And it is. But... So, Sony has to release something else. Okay. And I think they're... I hope the only way that we can get away from the future that I'm worried about is if this thing comes out alongside Scorpio. Because I don't want to see a future in which, uh, like, the PS4 is out and it's winning the race. You know, quote-unquote, the race. The race, yeah. And then the Scorpio comes out. And it's out for a year or two. As the powerful thing on the block. And then Sony releases their thing that's the most powerful thing oh, on the block for just... a year or two. And then we go back and forth. I don't want that. Just leapfrog. Because that means 
to to keep up to date. And yeah, yeah, I know, just buy a PC. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But that means to keep up with the console market because, I mean, it's just a fact. The third parties go where the strongest platform is mm-hmm. because devs want to make their toys the prettiest thing they can. Yeah. That would mean you have to buy every console because, in the uh, yeah, I'm ignoring Nintendo because they just kind of do their own thing, which I'm glad. If you're a Nintendo fan, you have a good life. They they just do their own thing. They kind of ignore what Microsoft and Sony are up to. But, yeah, if it constantly switched every two years, here's the new Xbox. Two years later, here's the new PlayStation. Two or three years later, here's the new Xbox. That means you would have to buy every Xbox and every PlayStation to stay on top of things. And uh, I don't want that. I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah. Well, wasn't it not too long ago that they were talking about... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, upgradable consoles? Yeah, I heard about that. But I also heard the same thing about PCs. Which, I mean, PCs has a better chance at it. Yeah. Now, I will say, Sony has some wizards. Well, now this was years ago now, but back for the back when the PS3, back with the PS3, when, when the 3D became the rage mm-hmm. that died immediately, with a patch, made every console support 3D. That's amazing from a tech point of view. You didn't have to buy a new PlayStation and have a 3D-compatible PlayStation. They figured it out in a fucking patch. But I think what we might end up seeing is, uh, for everyone who is or isn't aware, um, PlayStation 4 is not strong enough to run VR. So when you buy a PSVR unit, which, you know, I should dust mine off and use it more often, but uh, it comes with an extra processor. Yeah. We might see that. Where every couple years, Sony and Microsoft release a new processor that you just plug into your console. So instead of buying a whole new console and dropping five, six hundred bucks at a time or whatever, you're only spending one or two hundred dollars every year or two. Which honestly, that's not too bad. I guess. But I, the the future that you were talking about that I heard about too was they just want like a case and like. Everything be at, treated like a disk drive, basically. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, I need a new motherboard. You know, throw that one out, slap a new one in, and like so, to the point where you know your, you know your parents can figure it out, type of thing. Which is definitely what I would need too, because I certainly don't know what the fuck I'm doing with those. J- just because I'm, I'm reading through my list and I got one, I only have one thing left. We'll just talk about it because you sent it to me. Uh, the JoJo movie got a full trailer. Yep. Uh, part four, which. Um, you know, listen to a podcast and they made a pretty fair point as to why start with part four, which was it, it's set in Japan, so it's cheaper to film. Yeah. Um, yeah. L- looks like a live action, a Japanese oh, live action movie. Yeah. Or like anime movie. Um, conveniently, the trailer doesn't show any stands because I imagine they look terrible. Well, and you kind of want to keep. There is a picture floating around of what is supposedly Killer Queen from the movie, and it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look very good either. Okay. And in a still image, everything will look better. Yeah. Too, so. But we'll see. Uh, I Like, I might watch it. I don't know. I, normally, I just kind of ignore the live-action anime movies, because it's something I don't care about. Mm. But I, I like JoJo. And I liked part four, so maybe maybe it'd be worth checking out. Do we really need another Kingsman movie? You know, I was wondering the same thing. Um, like where it's not really going to be using the same. Like, do do we? Is that something we really need? Okay, so my hate, I hated the sequel the second it was announced. Okay. So the first Kingsman movie is based off a graphic novel. Yeah. And that's all I knew about it. I, I've never read the graphic novel. And then I knew this one wasn't based off a graphic novel, which tells me, oh, you know, hit comic book, I can do better. That's, it's yeah. kind of rude to the creator of the book, saying, no, nah, I could do a better sequel, because they didn't like one. But after looking into it, okay, the first movie was so loosely based off the graphic novel that, yeah, they could make a sequel. Um... No, I, enjoy, I enjoyed the first movie. I did not. I thought it was fun. I 
felt like I was going to pull my hair out every time something happened. Uh, I mean, I still think that uh, the villain girl who has swords for legs, that's fucking awesome. I think that's dumb and stupid, and I love it. And how many movies end with an anal scene? Stop. No. But, uh, yeah, fr- from what I gather, the movie is, uh, the Kingsman is, uh, you know, Europe's, or just England, I don't know. Yeah. They're, that's their secret service. And then... The Statesmen. The Statesmen. Are, uh, the guys... They all look like it. cowboys. Yes. And I'm just sitting there going like, that is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. So, you got Channing Tatum as... Oh, him. Ca- cowboy. Oh no. This sounds like a train wreck, Colin. And, and honestly, it might be. Only only time will tell. Yup. I did recently rewatch the uh, the church scene from the first movie, and it, it's you know it's a pretty solid scene. I guess. But it helps that Freebird's playing. <laughs> Play Freebird. <laughs> Shut up. So E three's coming up. It is. Has it always been open to the public? Or is that something recently? I believe this is... If not the... F- I think it used to be for a while. And okay. then it wasn't for a while. And now I think it... I don't know if this is the first year, but if it isn't the first year, it's only the second or maybe third that it has been. It's a pretty new thing, if not totally new. Okay. And I'm a little jealous that uh, two of my friends get tickets. Really? Yep. Huh. Now, obviously, it's going to be incredibly expensive. Cause yeah. Airfare to the other side of another country. Um, plus hotel and all that shit. So, you know, I'm not too mad. Mm. But I would like to go. Um, I don't know. I, I'm ju- I just don't understand why it has to be open to the public. Like, what's the point? Well, I mean, it's just... Here, guys. Here, play a bunch of games that aren't going to come out for three years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all it is. Just get people hype. Yep. Just a big hype machine. I mean, that's all E3 is. I mean, E3 is primarily for investors to be like, Look, we are working on things. Please keep paying us. <laughs> and... But, I mean... I still buy into it. I know I'm not alone, but, like, during, because of the way time zones and everything, a lot of E3 happens while we're at work. Yeah. And, um, I know a ton of people who just don't work. Oh, yeah, they're just week. watching, just watching E3 all day. And I I know I will do no different, because I eat that shit up. But, I'm glad for us that, uh, my, my baby Sony... Uh, happens usually at around uh, I think it's like 10 at night for us so uh, yeah. I am I am long home and uh, doing my own thing are we gonna do anything for it you I want saying... to okay but you said you're not much into sitting and watching and commenting on things but so every e3 I sit and watch it with people yeah or I have a Facebook group open. Of all of us watching it. Yeah. Um, because I enjoy doing it. I, I, I like getting hype. I, I mean, you j- you hope for that big, like, oh shit moment. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, it's never a guarantee, but... I mean, I, yeah, I blow them enough, but Sony's on a pretty good track record for surprises over the last couple of years. I still go back and rewatch people getting excited for that uh, Final Fantasy VII remake is that ever coming out um recently i saw an article on GameSpot that uh listed it as there is no way we see it this year oh despite uh something earlier saying we are getting a part of it this year yeah um now if that's true because people are saying like Cuphead, will it be out before I die? <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake, 
will it be out before I die? I mean, it has a chance, because the studio that's working on it, like, despite what most people think, it's not Square. Square's not making that game. Okay. Um, so, because when everyone's like, well, like, Square's still working on Final Fantasy, and they've got Kingdom Hearts, and how are they, or, I should say Final Fantasy XV, because it's also Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, th- like, ignore what Square's doing, because Square's not working on the fucking game, it's CyberConnect. Okay. Who, uh, make all those Naruto Shippuden games. Dot Hack. And they, they made Dot Hack. So they're, like, they're a decent studio. Yeah. And, I mean, the game's already made for them, they're just remaking it. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to... It's still a little too far away. I know we will. At, at least I will, even if I'm just talking to myself and you're just going, yes, Colin. Uh, we'll do, like, an E3 speculation video. Or part of the podcast where we'll cover Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. Okay. But... I didn't think Nintendo was doing anything for you. They, they don't usually do anything. Well, no, but they have their uh, Direct that okay. airs the same week. So they don't really do anything for E3, but they totally do something for E3. Yeah. They just don't have a stage show, but they still have games on the floor. Okay. So. Or at least they did last year with Zelda. Uh, but yeah, it, if with all, the wor- with all the buzz saying we don't see Final Fantasy VII until next year, if E3 rolls around and they say... Guess what? Episode one is out this holiday. That's a, I think it'll blow some people away. Yeah, myself included. Now, just because it's like, oh man, it's actually happening. Yeah, well, because I, I think, I mean, the Final Fantasy VII remake was definitely a meme. Yeah, it's something everyone wanted and asked for and joked about, and Sony and. Square kind of dug their own grave a few years back when they were announcing Final Fantasy VII, and it was just uh, that it's getting on PC, and that oh. made some people really angry. <laughs> oh boy! Um, but then seeing the actual remake, I think a lot of the people who got excited for that are still a little like, "Yeah, but will it actually come out?" And I, I don't blame them because, like, I like Final Fantasy, but I'm more of a Kingdom Hearts guy. And Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced a few years ago, and I'm like, yeah, is it ever coming out, though? Because it doesn't look like it. That would be a bigger shock to me. Is if if Kingdom Hearts 3. If they're like, that comes out this year. But that, that won't happen. But we're getting close. I know we're getting close. Someday. Well, now that all of the games on PS4... So anyone new can jump in and play all of them? Yeah. That tells me it's close. Relatively speaking. I don't know. The only thing else I had left was... Holy shit, there's been 22 Marvel movies. Has there? Hulk? As of Phase 3. Okay, let's see if we can name them. Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Thor, Thor 2. Captain America, Captain America 2. Was there a third one? Civil War? Yep, there was. Uh, Ant-Man? Uh, did we say it's Thor? The two yes. Thor movies? Yep. So we're um, at ten. Avengers 1, Avengers 2. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I'll count the third one because it comes out in less than a week. Or the second one, sorry, it comes out in less than a week. Um, yeah, I spent, I'm at 14. We're ten short, somehow. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. No, no, because I feel like I heard 23 or like tw- in the 20s. Yeah. I wonder which one we're forgetting. I'm just gonna just go Google it right now. Because, like, what's after phase three, phase four, but what does that entail? Well, I didn't actually read the articles, I just took the headline, but uh, the head of Marvel, the Kevin Feige, or however you pronounce the last name, kind of said he doesn't know. So, could this be the end of the Marvel Cinematic mm, Universe? They make too much money. He just said it'll be different. Okay. And, and like, that's very clear, because they... Honestly, they should just end it. Yeah. But I know they won't, because they're making so much money. Because, like, it's clear since the very... I mean, it's not clear since the very first Marvel movie, but it's clear that they were all leading up to the fight against Thanos. So once they beat Thanos, where do you go? 
you can't build up another yeah, 20, yeah. 20 movie long arc. So I think that's when we get into more uh, niche shit, I guess. Mephisto? Mephist- I don't know. Literally Satan? <laughs> Best Buy? Okay, so I got all the Marvel movies in front of me. And, uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's, never mind, that's wrong. Okay, so we got Iron Man. Yeah. Incredible Hulk. Okay. Thor. Iron Man 2. Okay. Avengers. I need you to keep count. Because I can't oh, count. shit. I can't keep count and scroll. Okay, so. we're so. at, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're at six. Thor 2. Iron Man 3. Uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Guardians of the Galaxy. Ant-Man. Uh... Age of Ultron, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers 3, Black Panther. Okay, so this is everything in Phase 3. So it's not 23 currently out. It's everything in Phase 3 equals that many. Because this counts two Avengers movies that aren't out yet. Black yeah. Panther, that's not a Captain Marvel that doesn't come out for two years. Yeah. Um, Thor's not out. So, okay. That's where they're getting the number. Is uh, It's counting say, movies that aren't out yet. Because <laughs> I, I've lost count. Yeah. And, well, I, I have no idea. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Yep. I mean, DC's at what, three? <laughs> really? Well, you got uh, Batman vs. Superman. Uh, you got Man of Steel. And Suicide Squad. I think that's it. Hmm. Soon to be Wonder Woman and uh, the Justice League, but yeah, that's it. We're at three to twenty-three. Jesus, like who? Like yeah, who do you go after? Go after after Thanatos? Than Thanos. Honestly, what I want them to do, they won't. Which is give movies to lesser-known characters. I know a lot of times they would work better as TV shows, but you can't get around the fact that with a movie you have a higher budget. Yeah. Like, based on what I've seen, specifically from, like, um, Jessica Jones and how they treat her super strength, or I guess Luke Cage, too, I don't want to see a She-Hulk TV show. It'd be fucking terrible. You'd just be like Jag. They'd literally just paint her green. Uh, I don't think they could afford CG for an entire series. So they'd have to do it in the movie. And She-Hulk is my bae. So. How do you feel about her go- being gray now? I what? I don't dig it. I thought that was just from the cover art. No, I think she's actually gray. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't dig it. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I, ho- I hope I'm wrong. Because... Well, okay, if you look at the very back uh, of issue uh, 5, which is the most recent issue that come out, uh, at the back of that, it shows the cover for issue 6, and she's very clearly gray. Yeah, I, I think that's more or less just a stylistic thing. Yeah, I'd like to be wrong. Because, I mean, even even in Marvel Now, number 1... Yeah, but she, she still hasn't transformed. I mean, she's got a little tinge of green. And even there, she's got a little tinge of green, so, but that might just be the blood. No. There, it's hard to tell. The light yeah. is weird. Yeah, I, I think they are actually going to make her gray with green eyes. Yeah, see. For the longest time, I thought that uh, yoga instructor was just had a piece of the Venom symbiote because of the black speech bubble. Uh, she reminded me way too much of the, uh, drama instructor from Saga. Yeah. They look pretty identical. A little bit. (laughs) But, um, it's a little earlier than normal, but it's gonna be real melt if we, uh, try to keep it going for another 15 minutes. I'm okay with that name. I ain't got shit. I actually did some work this time, this <laughs> podcast. And, and I mean, uh, you know, I, I looked up news, but it just, I don't know, not a busy I week. mean, we could talk about how local man 
from our own, from the home country uh, who killed his own father uh, got the shit kicked out of him in prison and now they're reopening the case because it turns Are out... Are you talking about Dennis? Yeah. Okay. They're reopening the case again because they're like, no, he's totally not guilty. We found more evidence. Eh, I stopped caring about that case. But it is more hot... For anyone who doesn't know, we're talking about the murder trial of Dennis Oland, which... The only reason why I'll say it by name is because it's actually a shockingly bigger case than I would have assumed. Oh, yeah. Because there's complete strangers who... I, I, I know I was in a cab. It was probably like a year ago now. I was in a cab and he at... We, we, you know, we were just chatting because it was a, like heavy traffic. And uh, he asked where I was from. I started St. John. And we started talking about the murder trial. So, like, it, you know, it was a, it's a big story. Yeah. It's it's weirdly interesting to have a, a big murder story be in your hometown. Well, and it's just a bizarre story to begin with. Yeah. I mean, possibly offs his own father because he uh, was running out of money and his father... To is... anyone who doesn't know, he beat his father to death with an axe 37 times. But then they found they couldn't, like, they kept... It was just fucking bizarre because they were like, the police were botching the uh, forensics evidence and just, you know, I, I you know, I, I won't do it, but I'll say it anyway, that I'm curious how many podcast episodes go, well, I think that's it, and then one of us goes, well, we could talk about this if we're really looking to kill some time right now. <laughs> I don't know. Because we've done that a lot. Yeah. Well, I didn't really think about it until we were like, well, it's time to end the show and we're 15 minutes early. Let's talk about this. I don't know. I just... Like, there's just a whole... Because there are people in my family who are like, oh, he didn't murder him. When they, like, found dried blood on the jacket and then the defense is like, oh, no, that's from something else. It's like, what else? Well, pr- there's, there's, there's blood, dried blood on his jacket, and you're saying it's not from him bludgeoning his father to death 36, 38, 36 times? I mean, I just pulled, I just pulled that number out of my ass anyway. Okay. So. I don't really know. <laughs> I remember when I when I heard the number. It was uh, just. It's, it's a lot. It goes from, okay, one, usually one or two or five is enough, but when you... 45. 45. <laughs> you, you, you bludgeon someone 45 times, their skull's not going to exactly be intact. No. And I'm, like... And they're not just, like, no, he totally didn't do it. And I'm just... I don't know, maybe it's because their family was, is kind of fairly prolific in... I mean, I, I, I've got all the details in front of me if we want to get real dark on how disgusting this corpse was. Oh, boy. Because uh, it was uh, pretty fucked up. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's our hometown. That's what everyone knows us for right now is a murder trial. Yeah. Yay! I mean, I can't say anything. My actual hometown is famous for a serial killer, so... Yep. And that in itself is interesting. It is. I almost bought the book on him the other day, but it's hard to read a who done it when you know You know who done it. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Sometimes like stuff can be alright. That's it for this week. I know it's a little early, but People have been telling us that we need to Nah, fuck them. Yep. But no, well, actually, you know what? There's a couple behind-the-scenes things to talk about. We'll, we'll do it on air. Why not? Okay. Uh, because I, I was going to do this in the wrap-up anyway. So, as anyone who frequents the channel, and, like, shout-out to, like, had, like, three or four subs. Which, like, saying it out loud doesn't feel good. <laughs> but that's a lot. I mean, for us, we're just starting out. Yeah. Uh, people may have noticed that, uh, I've been putting up two videos a day, every day. Um. Which I think is a mistake. I don't know what's gonna happen to that. 
Uh, are we, we, we are in a weird area. So, so, so again, uh, like uh, last week or two weeks ago, whenever the fuck we played Mr. Massage. Uh. Um, Duncan and I are going to play some games after this. But we're, we're currently in this field where two a day might be too much. But one a day is not enough. Because we, well, we just have too much content. Yeah. Because I currently, in the in ready to be posted, not counting this podcast, I have four or five videos. And that's not in not that's not counting what we're going to record in a few minutes. Oh Jesus. So I don't know. T- tell us what you think. Um. Do you want us to? I don't think we can do two a day every day. That was just a rare circumstance in which I wasn't posting videos, so we just had a shit ton in the backlog. But maybe some days we'll have two videos. Some days we'll have one. Um, maybe the weekends we'll probably only have one a day for sure. Hmm. Because I also don't want to work on the weekends. And, and also, I stream every Saturday, maybe every Saturday, try to. And then we might record every Sunday, so. So, yeah, tell, tell, tell us what you think. I know some people have told me two's too many, but, I mean, there's channels I watch. I, I mean, I, mean, I, I yeah. watch Game Grumps, and they upload three a day. Yeah. But then again, they don't, do they have, like, normal-ish jobs at the same time? No, they just... Well, they do now. They're filming a show. But okay. No, everyone who I know who keeps this two or more videos a day, that, that this is their job. Yeah. Um, I hate to tell you this, Colin, but I don't want this to be my job. I, I kind of prefer animation. Oh, I'd never leave animation. Yeah. I like it too much. Um, yeah. So, yeah. You know, leave a, leave a comment on uh, what you'd like to see there. Um... I guess we could, if need be, scale back the amount of content we do, which would really mean I just stop streaming alone on Saturdays because I can get like four or five videos out of a sitting. <laughs> um, and it, you know, I, d- I don't think people are actually watching them anyway. <laughs> but I enjoy doing it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Next week. Oh, is there going to be a treat for everybody? Next week, very special episode of the podcast. Twelfth uh, episode. Thirteenth. We're on twelve right now. Whoops. <laughs> um, so we have, barring episode six, where we kind of had a guest, but Duncan was gone, so it was more of a temp replacement. You hear um, that? Your temp. <laughs> we uh, are not having one guest we're having three so uh there will be five people Ugh. on the podcast next week now watching the podcast that uh total Bis- uh, the co-optional podcast where they had uh Je- jesse dodger total biscuit of course um but they also had crendor and um jesse no not, not jesse, jesse. Dodger. Did you say no dodger? i said dodger yeah. too and i'm not gonna say it was sam but it was Somebody? Some, they had someone else. And the first thing out of TV's mouth was trying to get a podcast ready for five people is absolute insanity. Well, we have the benefit of all five people will be in the same room. Okay, yeah. Um, which also means, uh, unless you want those three fuckers coming into your house, <laughs> you're coming to my place yep. to record next week. Um, I'm sorry, I don't need more people knowing where I live. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, three of my very close friends who I've known for. From the home country. From from the home country. They're coming down for a weekend. Uh, they're very funny. Very (laughs) dorky people. Uh, one of them does his own radio show, so he's not, uh... He is a little more experienced. Yeah, so he, he, you know, it won't be a total train wreck. Um, but also one of them is, uh, very loud. And, um... 
They know it's not their show, so expect them to try to ruin it. So, I, I guess this is a, a, a warning in advance. Next week's episode might run long. Because there's five of us. It's gonna be a good time. But, that's it for this week's episode. Um, if you, uh, like I said, leave a comment. Uh, um, if you have any opinions on our upload schedule. Or, or if you want us to talk about something on the show next week. Or, uh, you know, just, uh, send us an email. <laughs> Have, have we checked the emails recently? I, I did. It's still uh, none. Beautiful. Going strong. Love it. Uh, so the email is just powermoosepodcast at gmail.com. Um, the show, the podcast has a Twitter, which like, I know hindsight's, hindsight's 2020. I should have made a, a channel Twitter, not a podcast Twitter, mm-hmm. but... When we started this, we never had any intentions of being a channel other than podcasts. Yep. So. To be fair, I'm kind of surprised we made it past ten episodes. Uh, and like episode four, I told you I would can it. Yep. At episode ten. <laughs> oh. Is that, Is that a question? Oh, uh, no. No, that's a YouTube notification. Oh, are we getting shut down? Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah. If, if you want to follow, the podcast's Twitter has just become the channel's Twitter. I Everything of note gets reblogged, but it doesn't really get used. It's just Duncan, or I will use our own personal Twitters. Duncan is append gray. Uh, I believe it's uh, A-P-P-E-N-D-G-O-A-Y. Yes. And I'm Metal Gear Whale, and I won't spell that out because that's spelt Metal Gear Whale. What do you got for recommendations? What are you, what are you gonna? You just gonna make sounds? I ain't got shit. If you want a good suspense thriller and a who done it, watch the uh the don't, usual suspects. I knew you were gonna fucking say that. I was like, "Don't say that Kevin Spacey movie." You know what? If if I was gonna, I was trying to make it our thing to recommend an anime at the end of every episode, but it's clear that that is pretty much an anime. Well, I was just gonna say it's just there's not enough animes that we love to recommend one or two every week. At least I definitely don't have that. Maybe you do. But if we're gonna branch into just media at all. Welcome to the NHK. Oh, shit! Yes! I actually recently deleted a bunch of anime off my computer. <laughs> and one, and of, one of the things I saved was, was Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the NHK. NHK. Watch Welcome to the NHK. It's fantastic. I fucking love that anime. I hope you people enjoyed the sound of me playing with metal magnet beads. I hope it didn't get picked up. I hope it did. <laughs>